This is why I love these types of collections. For example, Halo Master Chief Collection, which has four Halo games from Master Chief, including ODST, if you got if you were fortunate enough to play it before a certain date. Rare Replay, that one has 30 games on one physical digital release. Now we've got Mega Man Legacy Collection. What is that? Six Mega Man games from the Nintendo Entertainment System era. Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's all bumped up into one digital release. Some more things to it. Now, before you guys say, what the hell is Mega Man? It's basically this little blue person trying to shoot down these other, these other different, different types of bosses. And once you finish these bosses, you get their power. For example, um, Gutsman. Finish him off, you get you get his um, social ability. So, there are some good things and bad things about this game. So, without do, guys, let's talk about it. So, there are a couple bad things about this game that you need to know. First of all, in this live footage I was playing this game, it turns out that there was a disappearing of your character. Just right about there. Disappearing. No idea why it's disappearing, but it will come back very soon. I don't know why it's that, but... Some games has that, some games does not have that, so you got to keep an eye on what's going on. Second thing, most of these games have slowdown. Now, Mega Man 1 I played a lot of, Mega Man 3 I played a lot of, and I believe it was 4 as well. There are some slowdowns in, I think, think most of that game. Um, let me just say that, you know, I was playing Gutsman stage, and there was a lot of slowdown here and there. That is just not good, but I think it's just because it's from Nintendo, and you know, I think Nintendo's trying to, you know, this is basically, this is from the, this is from the Nintendo Entertainment System, they forwarded it from here, so there might be some problems here and there. Also that, the last thing on this is the control, the controls at times doesn't feel right. For example, every time I move right, I don't, every time I move right, you know, it moves, I always say stop, it moves a little bit more and I die. I really don't know why this is features this thing happening, but, it's, it's, I don't really mind it, it's just that it just frustrates me a ton. So, those are the bad things about Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now let's go on to the good stuff. So the good things about Mega Man the Legacy Collection, and there are some very surprising ones. For example, number one, there are six games in this collection. Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Very good collection. Achievements for each one are quite hard if you want to finish all six. It's going to take, take you a lot of time to finish them. Next, you can also you can customize your gameplay. For example, you can go to those settings, you can also change what you want. For example, you can change the screen from original formatting, full or wide. And you can have like, you know, your full size, like your full screen. We all just like, we can have it as your original from the Nintendo era. You can also change the border, but you can have it on or off, so you can have to see what the art style is. Also, you can change your filter, which is actually quite nice. Even that, you can also save and load your progress. So, if you're saying to me that, you know, oh, I played two, get two um, stages in Metal Man 2, or like two stages in Metal Man 2, then I need to go to Metal Man 3 to see what's going on once in Mega Man 3 or there. Oh, wait, I can't because I need to, like, you save it. Now you can save it. There, you can save it and you can, get, you can load up and load it back to where you were. Pretty cool idea. Next, each game that each game you have, one to six, has a, has its own database and a museum. So you can see what these characters are and what do they do, which is fantastic. Next, one of the most surprising things in this collection is challenges. Every, in each one now you got is challenges from um for example there's one I had to travel from one area to another for an a certain time limit, which is absolutely fantastic. There are more to do and I've only played them for a four, which is pretty good. Finally, the music player is uh, the music player is fantastic. All six games, you know, music are all in here. The whole soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. Um, Metal, the Metal Man, Mega Man 2, are one of the best beat up songs out there. is absolutely fantastic. Even that the challenge level on this game is absolutely hard. You have to take your time and do it. But you can save it here and there just to get progress in. So. That is like that is the good stuff about the Mega Man Legacy Collection.
my final verdict on Mega Man The Legacy Collection is, it's a really good collection. Six Mega Man games in one physical digital release. Not sure when the physical release is going to be released, but we're not, not sure about that right at the moment. No, so many cool features like the challenge modes, the music players, six games. Um, you can customize, you know, your your settings. This is really fantastic. So I have some hiccups, you know, there, you know, from the controls and a few other things. This is a um, fantastic port, as well as that. If you're new to Mega Man or you're a Mega Man fan or a fanboy or you know the Mega Man games, get this game. It's absolutely get this collection. It's a fantastic port. So with that, I'm going to give this game a. An 8.5 out of 10 for Mega Man Legacy Collection. There you go, guys. That is my review for Mega Man Legacy Collection. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that. I'm on Twitter World Reviews, Instagram World Reviews, Xbox Live World Reviews, and Twitch at World Reviews. Thank you guys for watching this, and I hope I'll see you guys next time. See you later, peeps. Bye bye.